Hello, and welcome to Control Alt Ego. Um, I'm going to attempt a full uh, series of this. I'm not even going to look at the metrics um, or numbers, whatever you want to call it. Um, so no fear if it dips too low, but I would uh, like it if people join me in on this. Um, this is a game I've been meaning to play for a while. I don't know if it's a game that will perform uh, particularly well on my channel because I generally don't play a lot of imsims. But um, this is an imsim, and it's one I've been wanting to play. So uh, those are all the bases covered. Um, I'm in terms of how I'm going to play it. We'll, we'll figure out. I'm going to I'm going to find a, a comfort spot, a comfort zone for how I'm going to play it. But uh, if you're not familiar with this game, uh, strap in. It's an interesting one. Um, actually, before I do this, let me just see if I've got all of the accessibility stuff uh, turned off. Stabilize eye. Eliminate wobbly robot sideways camera roll. Yeah, d disable hop animation, disable bug bob. Stop controlled bugs from bobbing gently up and down. Yeah, I'm going to be turning a couple of these off. Reduce robot sliding motion. I'll do a little bit. Um, adjust the camera field of view. It's part of the feel of being different. Bots in the... D We'll leave that on for now. I I, I know that this game um, can has the potential to make people feel a little ill, and um, I'm okay. But uh, you know, I want to make sure that you're okay. So I'll turn all of those on just to make sure that the most number, you know, the the, the, the most people can enjoy the series that can. So we're gonna do a new campaign. Uh, insights provide local area hints. If you prefer to read the environment and interpret clues for yourself, disable this option. Sure. Uh, show points of interest markers act as a navigational aid if you prefer to explore and find locations and items independently disable this option I don't know if I can oh you can change your mind at any time cool all right let's turn them off for now and I might turn them back on uh, later retain current settings configure your out-of-body experience um, your ego is rudely crammed inside physics driven robots the most characterful option but may take some getting used to stable suppress all potential causes of motion sickness let's just do that that sounds good actually uh new game difficulty moderate sounds good all right All right. Here we are. We've got some plastic con containers. Uh, grab. So, uh, what is an imsim? You know, a lot of people ask that question. I think the ultimate answer is if you can pick up a barrels, it's an imsim. So, uh, I can clearly pick up barrels in this game. Therefore, it's an imsim. Argument over. Uh, we're good. You know. We're very, we're, 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 we're very okay. I can't get through here. Do I have to push these aside? I can't really jump up them. Oh, I can grab that one. All right. Get out of my way. M Sim barrel. We got a little ramp here. Might need to turn the brightness up a little bit. We got a battery. We got another battery. I did do a let's try of this game just to showcase it because it is a very good game and I wanted to show it some love. Um, but I am starting a new game because it's been a while since I played this. And, um, you know, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to approach it with fresh eyes. Uh, all right, we got some more batteries. I don't know. I can't interact with these doors just yet. But I can interact with this. Clearly, I'm going to use this to get up to that pipe. So what uh, what's going on in, in this game? Well, we are in a spaceship, I think. Space station. Um, there's a little bit of uh, Red Dwarf in this game, if you have ever watched Red Dwarf. Uh, if you haven't watched Red Dwarf, I highly recommend it. It's very good. Um, so we can't get through there yet. Um, it's, 
it's a kind of a very slightly campy i'm talking about control alt ego by the way it's a slightly campy um game where you're exploring a space station as not quite a robot more as a disembodied consciousness is the best way to put it um we are right now controlling a robot as a consciousness we have the ability to shoot so we're gonna shoot what can we shoot we can shoot this barrel pew pew Ooh, it's got some some blowback Meow. incinerated uh we got some more juice we got another battery Ooh, look at all the batteries we're all full up okay there's our this is our uh Our tools menu. I would like a flashlight. Can I pick this up, actually? Doesn't look like I can. It's very dark. The game did get uh, an update that um, gave it some better lighting features. Oh. Sneak or shoot. Uh, is it coming this way? I'm going to pull out my gun just in case. I'm just gonna shoot it <laughs> shoot it ask questions later what were you doing why were you beeping at me i'm asking it questions in case you uh were at all confused there's another little robot there i'm gonna try and sneak back oh uh oh yeah i guess i'm going in loud that's fine at least it didn't take any damage. I did use a lot of juice, though. There's something else in there. Um, the closest approximation to this game that I've played for the channel was uh, Stalker. What is this? This is a lot of juice fill, juice stuff. Um, I really enjoyed my playthrough of Stalker. I've been thinking of getting back into Stalker. Maybe not doing a full playthrough. Um, oh, that that series did not perform well for how long it took me to actually uh, play through that. All right. Uh, I am going to turn the brightness up just a little bit. It's it's very dark. Brightness. Can we turn the quality up? I don't know if that actually helped all that much. Is it dead? All right. So uh, we're just we're just trying to find our, our robot legs for now. That's uh, not literal. I'm just trying to I'm. <laughs> Trying to figure out where we are, where we're going. Um, I got, I've, I've made it pretty, f I wouldn't say far, like maybe an hour or so in this game. We got a little friendo here. Hello. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna obliterate this little lad. He is my friend. He is a good lad. He deserves to live. Oh, look at that actual reflections. Woo! That's what we look like. Reflections are always tough to pull off in games, so I'm always impressed when I see it. And uh, when I see it done so well, like, this is really nice. Performance monitor. Ego, zero. Active agents, zero. Broken bots, five. Identifications, one. That is our qualifications. What is this? No, 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 no. This can't be right. It's the wrong kind of emu. Well done for getting this far, though. You'll have a lot more options once we get you the right kind of emu. Okay. Control, alt leave right i'm going to control alt you out of there sorry no sensible alternative okay uh oh location god dock once upon an ego you hear that is uh surprising 
considering all the changes I made to you. Why am I typing? Loading say. Okay, better. Yeah, um, if you turn, like, crank up all of the options, uh, it does, like, a very, very jarring zoot effect. Um, which is, you know, I'm already with the FOV, I could see some people getting sick. I can? Doesn't seem to let me. Oh, there we go. Oh, no? Mmm, doesn't seem to let me. But I can connect to that door. I think. No? Hold on, I'm trying to figure out how, to, how this works. Oh, there we go. You can really, uh, zoot. I'm over here, in the cat. I hope you can hear me all right. Look, use ego mode to find the tab module while I try to open access for you to this cat. Okay, so tab. Ego cost to control zero. Distance five meters. Tab. Task activity. Activity broker. Seamless emo integration. This is going to come up. Whenever you uh, take control of things, there's um, there's a cost associated. Offline ego cost zero. That is off. Um, not sure what I'm doing as this thing. Oh, tab tasks. I ego tab through your tab tabs. <laughs> okay. Thank you for choosing to control the tab task activity broker. Enjoy seamless emo, uh, emu integration, enhanced communication, host extensions, and more. All at the top of your tab. Meta. Info will appear here to help guide you through Control All Ego simulated immersive experiment, experience. Task, host, meta, me, meta, sorry. Control, cat. Um, okay. All. Hmm. Get out of God. Okay. Um, let's go. Oh, we can't go back to that emu. Or can we go back? We can go back. 
No, we can't go back to that. We have to go to that cat over there through the window. A bug, I believe, is the robot that I was already controlling in the previous scene. Find and control bug. Well, let's zoot to that door. Space to unlock. That's fun. I love, like, one of my favorite parts of this game is that, like, everything, um, nothing feels like kind of instant space. Like, nothing feels scripted. Um, you really are here. You're part of this door and when you open it the fact that you slide with it is is really fun I am gonna let the, the dialogue happen Oh All right, here we are. Do I have a... Um, I bug. Find batteries to charge up your bug. Recommended. Find and control the lifesaver. Do we have a grabber? I don't think we have a grabber just yet. We need more batteries and we'll get there. We'll get back to having a hand. But yeah, the way you move around in this game, it feels good. I kind of want to... What is this? You may be pleased to know, I'm human like you, except not. I mean, I'm human, obviously, and you sort of are. Uh, but then again, you sort of aren't. What I mean is, you still have your ego. But everything else, I'm afraid, was stripped from you during your uh, journey. I'll take control of these cats whenever I can so that I can uh, get some more of the dialogue. I actually really appreciate the voice acting. It's like a, it's an unexpected added touch to this game that I really appreciate. Can we play this video game? Oh, a battery. I'll try not to move too, um, like, violently so that it doesn't make people sick. But there's going to be action in this game. There's going to be... It's, it's a, not really a shooter, but there are going to be shooty moments, as you've already seen. Can I take control of this thing? Ego backup restore. Oh, it's a uh, save point. Nice. Yeah, even saving the game is, uh, I think the term is bespoke. It is like integrated into the actual experience of the game and not just like uh, hit the escape and go to the save button, you know? No disc drive missing. I do love a game that actually explores consciousness and uh, the idea of like what it means to be sentient. I don't know how much of that there is in this game, but the fact that it even touches on it is kind of fun and makes it a uh, actual feature and mechanic. Oh, we got clippers here, but I can't fit in there. That's foreshadowing, by the way. Uh, just barely can't reach that battery.
Can't reach that battery either. I believe you increase your ego by taking control as, of as many things as you can. So like this power switch, uh, do I get some ego for taking control of it? I don't know if I do, but I am able to uh, activate the power lift, so there is that. This thing costs zero. Oh yeah, you do. I, I, I saw it go up a little bit. And then there's things like this, test unit, user-friendly. Ego gain on control one, okay. So we're gonna be doing a lot of that. Uh, user-friendly oscilloscope. Open the secure door to the bug-free zone. I just wanna, like, this is gonna be a weird one, but this game kind of has a, ca a, a Katamari vibe to me. Um, more specifically, there, I played a game, it was one of the first games I played on uh, the Wii. The original Wii, not the Wii U, not the whatever. Um, which was a game called Alec, uh, Alec Bugs or something. But um, the idea of basically expanding, like, you, you're kind of, uh, you know, you're growing. You're growing in a sense, in complexity. Broken bug head. I, a little detail I appreciate in this game is like when you're taking control of things, you really are that thing. And so it's like, you know, you, you are occupying that space. It's a little nice touch. It's hard to explain like what that means, but it's a, it's a very, it's a small touch that didn't need to be done. Um, I was kind of hoping the oscilloscope had uh, some kind of functionality. I can't open this door just yet, but our ego is now four. Let's, uh, let's check out this lift. Can look at myself while I, uh, raise the lift. There's a, there are collectibles. I believe those are little, little tiny ego nuggets that increase our ego over time. This is a game where you, you really are going to want to explore every nook and cranny. Can we climb up ladders? Nope. You, uh, you, you don't, you can't really take anything for granted in this game. You go gain magnetic reel. What, what does, what do I do as a magnetic reel? I just am. Sometimes you just are, you know, like, uh, not everything has a functionality. Some things do. Oh god, this is gonna make you sick, I'm sorry. Oh, maybe not. I thought I was gonna be spinning around in circles. I'm very grateful that that was not a thing. I wonder if I become that- do I have like a functionality? The e economy. Stupid. Open the secure door to the bug-free zone. Grow your ego. Every Dr. Everyman wants me to exploit bugs and grow my ego in order to deal with the parasite. Yeah, I mean, you might have seen how much ego we need to take control of the parasite. It's like over a thousand. And right now we're still dabbling in single digits. So, it's, a, it's a, quite a bit. Item one, ego tunes, player, bottom drawer. Oh, yeah. Um, can I open that? I still don't have a hand. Oh, maybe I do? Okay, there we go. Can I do something as this MP3 player? I guess I'm already doing it. I should uh, take a, make, make a special note to like pay attention to how much ego I gain. 
Since some things actually cost ego to take control of. I think. I might be wrong about that, actually. What is this? This is just like a spare computer chip on the ground. So now we're going to go up there. I spy. Uh, printer. Offline. Control denied. Sensor offline. Please. Please try again later. Okay. I wonder if I can take control of that dog. New meta fall damage. Did I take fall damage? I didn't mean to. Let's save. Where where is that dog? Okay, I can open this door. So that does cost three ego. I do want to uh, make sure I explore like everything. Use computer. Health and safety advisory. Access to the bug free zone is strictly verboten to all bugs, uh, bug units. All bug access violations inside the bug free zone are to be expunged immediately. Expunged. So this is a say no to bugs. This is a bug free zone. So uh, if I enter there, I might be in grave danger. At least if I join it as a bug. Hey, I actually have functionality as this one. I can drop juice. Oh, that cost me ego. Shoot. I shouldn't have done that. Sorry, I'm just I'm just playing the game right now. Um, I want to find... I already did this cat, right? Save up enough? Yeah, I did. Where is that dog? Where's the little precious lad that I, uh, whose life I spared? I think it's over here. I guess I can go through... I could zoot over to that lifesaver. I could zoot to that. Ego cost to control is one. The game opens up a little bit, but where's that dog? Where did I even see that thing? I thought I heard it earlier. I'm already getting kind of lost. There's no map, is there? No, there's not. What do you mean unread messages? Return to bug free zone. I'm a bug, so I'm banned by official decree from the office of the executor. In fact, if you're reading this, then you are breaking the law. Uncontrol me immediately and hand yourself in to the nearest ego retention facility. Okay. Hold on, I want to I wanna find that dog. I don't know. Where, what happened to them? Can I open this drawer? No, I can't. Do any of these drawers open? Okay. Um, let's, uh, can we zoot over to that? You can go use ego. Yeah, you, you can transfer through glass, which is kind of fun. Def DFS module, user friendly. We motor. I do kind of wish that as you controlled some of these, like, uh, a few more of them had, like, functionality. But I understand there's, like, basically only one dev working on this. I think that the, there were more at first. But I, I've, been, uh, I've been watching uh, the progress. And it's basically just the one, the one guy working on it. And I, I, uh, I really appreciate the, the work that they've been putting into this game. So we've opened this door here. No disk drive. We still don't have a disk drive. 
but we get we got a little more a little more ego did i already take control of this no i didn't so i get one more ego for exploring the zone this is a very exploratory game you're gonna want to like really look through every nook and cranny we can't really fit in here or can we <laughs> we can if i think about it hard enough oh please don't soft lock okay no we can't fit through there it's like just barely too small mainframe offline i know tell me about it <laughs> i really do uh love the like red dwarf vibes that this game gives off i think it's time for a rewatch re of that show it's uh, it's one of my favorites i actually haven't seen like the um the later seasons they they kind of rebooted the show which was wild to me when everyone was like old <laughs> and uh i didn't i didn't end up watching the new seasons i really wanted to all right so that room is pretty much done i could go back upstairs i do want to check out um like i really want to like get as much done as possible we're gonna i'm gonna wrap up the first episode soon i just want to like make sure i finish as much as i can um in this first few areas and then we'll start moving on to the bug free zone who are you i don't know you tell me bud something tells me that there is a dog i know there's a there's a little robot lad somewhere but i don't know where they are So it might be that we come back to this zone later. Okay, yeah, I think uh, I think we're pretty much done here. I have one more zoot around just to find out. Is there anything I can do here? No, that just told told me that there's an MP3 player I can can take uh, I can take control of. All right, I'm gonna go to the bug free zone. Um, this is a, a little, maybe a bit of a slow episode, but I promise things will get faster and uh, I'll learn how to how to navigate and where to go. We'll, we'll figure out things a bit quicker, but I just kind of want to take my time. I want to be, uh, have a chill moment for a minute and, and not have to play uh, like a madman, you know? But uh, anyway, we'll we'll save this room for the next episode. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, as I say, things will pick up a little bit. And um, if you did enjoy this, uh, maybe just to show your support for the series, I would appreciate it if you wanted to hit the like button, even on just this first episode to uh, spread the love a little bit. And let me know in the comments what you think of this game. Try and keep it spoiler free because I haven't progressed all that much. So this will be mostly blind. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.